Hi, I am Chibike and in this video we will learn how to execute our parts on the robot. Before our parts can be executed on the robot, we will have to convert all our all our robot data, two data and work object data into a rapid script that can be executed on the robot. To do this, go to the home tab and select parts and target. Then right click on the robot and select synchronize to rapid. This brings up a dialog box where we can select the bits of our robot data that we would like to synchronize to rapid. Select the, all the data that you the data that you like to synchronize and give it a name. Then select OK. And then under the rapid tab, under the rapid, select module one and double click and this would open the script that has been generated for us so this is rapid and this is a script that will run on the robot when we synchronized our parts to rapid robot studio created a procedure for each of the parts that we defined however Rapid doesn't just run a, any procedure, it, had, it only starts from a procedure called main and we will have to add this in manually. So let's create a procedure called main and in this procedure we can call other procedures that would like to execute when the main procedure executes. So we can just execute the part then apply the changes and check the program then check the output status down here and verify and ensure that it says no errors if there's an error it would state it here and you can go to the line number and make sure that your code is syntactically correct If you've gotten to the stage where you have no errors, you can select the run mode of your program. So single cycle means that the program will execute once and terminate. And if it's set to continuous, it means that the main procedure will continue to execute. So we'll set it to single, then go to the simulation tab and hit the play button. And the robot will execute the main procedure. As you can see, in the simulation tab it's very hard to see where the robot has gone and especially when you're drawing it could be helpful to see the path that the robot has taken we can en enable something called TCP trace and this will trace the robot's movement so that you can see it and that's the path we created earlier There are a few other things that you should know about Rapid. So aside the fact that it has to run from a main procedure, you can create other procedures entirely in Rapid. You do not have to go to the home tab and create a part. These are just simple moving instructions. And you can find a reference to how these are created in the program manual. Also, um, Robot Studio has a separate folder called Calib data and this stores the definition or description of your pen tool or whatever tool you'll be using or if you have multiple N effectors they'll all be stored here and also all the work objects are defined here and you can find the definition or description of the definition in the project in the program manual also um, you should be aware that this yellow arrow is, some, is called a program pointer and this shows the current um, place where the next instruction that will be executed is. So you can, if you're debugging, you could use this to move to different places using the step in, step out, and step over buttons in Robot Studio, and also on the flex pendant, which I will show you um, later. So when you're done with all this and you show that your robot, your project runs well in simulation, you can right click on the on the program 
and save the program. So ideally you save this to a flash drive so that you can run, run this on the flex pendant on the robot. But I'll save this to my computer because I'll be showing you how to do this also um, on my virtual flex pendant. So to run your code on the robot, turn the robot on as I was described in the very first video in this series and connect the flash drive, the USB to the flex pendant. It should be located under here. Then select the program editor from the drop down menu and then under the tasks and programs select the file and load program. Then it will prompt you to save your previous program but in this case I wouldn't save it because I don't need to. Then press the file back button until you get to the very root um, draft folder in the file manager and underneath this folder you would see your USB flash drive. So then select the location where you've stored this and it should be saved as a .pgf file. Select this file and select OK. And Robot Studio would then load this into its program editor on the flex pendant. So remember the arrow I was talking about late before. That's the arrow there in this sort of purple color. And that refers to the current um, execution point of the robot. So it automatically detects our main procedure and it would start executing whatever is in there when we hit the play button. Before running this, ensure that there's nothing around the robot and there's no one within the walk workspace of the robot so no one gets hot. And then ensure that the key is set to teach mode. Then hold the enable button on the flex pendant and run the code and you'll see that the robot moves. If you want to stop this, you can release the enable button or press the stop button on the flex pendant. Just before I round up this um, video, just one last thing I would like to show. Um, let's say you've written your main function, your main procedure, and there's just one routine in it, but you'd like to test another one, say drawing a triangle, but you don't want to go back to Robot Studio to do this. You can actually do this in here in the Flex Pendant. So if you um, go to the debug mode, Select the debug tab and then you could do PP to routine. So PP stands for the program pointer. And if you click on that, you can select a new routine to run. So we can select the drawing triangle routine. And this will automatically move the program pointer to that routine. And then you can press the play button and it would just execute that routine. Okay, so that will be it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to share your project with other people. Thank you for watching.